I would also go further as far as what I believe paleo and primal are, and that is not just removing the toxins from your foods, but removing the toxins from your life. We run along paleo and primal. And so the difference between paleo and primal is that paleo, no dairy. Primal, dairy if your body can tolerate it. And there's a lot of people that cannot t t tolerate dairy. Mm -hmm. um, but there's a caveat to that. There's a lot of people that believe that they are lactose intolerant, which is not actually correct. What's happening to a lot of people, actually a good majority of people as far as dairy is concerned, is that they probably, if they have any issue, it's not necessarily the lactose, it's the casein. But mm -hmm. the other part of that, the other piece of that is, it's also the processing. So we suddenly decided in the name of shelf life that we wanted to start ultra patch pasteurizing our, our dairy. Mm -hmm. Not only that, then we also homogenized it. The, and then, so what these two things do is they destroy all the good bacteria that is in dairy. Mm. And then we fortify it by putting in synthetic vitamins, which your body does not recognize. And that, that typically is what people believe is lactose intolerance. It's really the intolerance to synthetic vitamins that have been added back to that, um, that dairy. So there's that piece. Mm. There are people that are lactose intolerant right. and casein intolerant. But a lot of times when what we find is that if they move to raw dairy, which is very difficult in right. a lot of states to get, um, in the state of Texas, it is legal, except that you have to go to the farm to get it. You can't just go into the store and buy it. Right. Um, there are low heat pasteurization and um, you can get it um, non-homogenized, which is great in the stores. The problem is you still have the pasteurization. And, right. um, but generally, um, as a rule, those are, those are great alternatives. And what we find is that a lot of people that try that tend to not have a problem. Oh. Um, so getting back to paleo and primal. So both of them though, although primal allows dairy and paleo does not, um, both of them are removing all processed foods, all added sugars, all grains, legumes, soy, and then there's some, you know, there's a lot of, you know, I don't know, controversy, that's probably not the right word, but a lot of, of um, discussion and um, debate over whether or not um, starches are safe. And so personally, I, I believe that's a N equals one. Every person's got to do their own research and figure out if if starches work for you. Because on a lot of levels, um, they can be very beneficial, particularly um, if you do a lot of working out. Those can be very helpful right. to a person that works out because they actually need the carbs. Um, finding the right ones is what's really the key, is finding mm -hmm. out, are you a person that can tolerate rice, for instance? I cannot. Um, my blood sugar gets, comp my insulin is totally shot to hell if I have rice. I, I don't recover well from it, so I don't eat rice. Um, my alternative is cauliflower rice and that type of thing, or other types of rice, um, and ricing other vegetables and that type of thing. Um, potatoes, sweet right. potatoes, those are all things that you need to test and see. So I do well on red potatoes, which are the new little new potatoes, mm -hmm. or the fingerling potatoes, or the purple potatoes, don't do okay on sweet potatoes, which is weird. So you would think that I would do fine, but I get an insulin um, shot from right. eating those and don't recover. So, um, but that's basically it, is really just eating whole foods, whole real foods. Mm -hmm. And when you eat whole real foods, you shop the outer um, perimeter of a grocery store. If you're at a grocery store, it's better to go to a farmer's market and know who you're um, food comes from if you can, mm -hmm. but shopping that outer limit and only going down the aisles when you need paper products or whatever, or, right. you know, some types of supplies. Um, and, you know, the thing is, is that I would also go further as far as what I believe paleo and primal are, and that is not just removing the toxins from your foods, but removing the toxins from your life. Mm -hmm. And that is removing toxins that in the way that you clean your house, yeah. 
because there's a lot of toxins in the cleaning chemicals that we use in our in our homes. Then there is the toxins that we put on our bodies every day, which is, you know, um, soaps and shampoos and conditioners. And then for ladies, we put on makeup. Mm -hmm. And um, they say on average that the average woman puts 86 toxic chemicals on her body and face per day. 86. And so that and the thing is, is that at the end of the day, we have so much stuff going on in the, the environment. Um, we have so much pollution and that type of thing. Um, our food supply is not what it was before. Um, we back when our grandparents were coming up, they had a good food supply. They right. their foods were nutrient dense. Ours are not. Mm -hmm. We have soil depletion because we're monocropping. Um, we have a lot of toxic runoff. And then of course, you take into account that we have lots of pesticides that we put on our foods and we have inhibitors that either inhibit growth uh, or bugs or some type of thing like that, but also that are, um, we add a lot of chemicals and hormones to animals. Mm -hmm. And um, so in our opinion, the um, what we call a confined animal feeding operation is what factory farming is mm -hmm. and we believe that that should be completely abolished it is something that is not good for our planet it's not good for us um but at the end of the day um you know it's there's just so many things that yeah. are going on and we just have to really be careful about you know the toxins that we have because mm -hmm. we're getting to lots of people have a lot of toxic overload on their bodies and their bodies can't overcome it we're um in a day and age too where like i particularly do not have my gallbladder anymore if i would have known back then what i know now mm -hmm. i would never have let them take my gallbladder yeah. we have all of our we have all of our organs for a reason mm -hmm. and just removing one because there's an issue is a little bit in my opinion very um what's the word ridiculous? um it's not just ridiculous Insane. it's kind of in in my opinion it's it's um i can't think of the word i'm anyway um medieval in a way we re we remove uh, these organs instead of fixing the problem that's causing the issue and the thing is is that lots of these things i could have fixed the problem if i had been given dietary advice to change what i was eating I would have been able to fix that problem on its own. Your body is miraculous. Mm -hmm. It is an amazing, and lack of a better word, machine. It's not a machine, but it is this amazing thing. And yeah. it has the ability to heal itself of all kinds of things, mm -hmm. cancer included, if it's given proper nutrition, if it's given all the proper things that it needs to fuel itself. Right. It can overcome, and this is the thing, a lot of people don't realize this, but almost every day you have cancer in your body. Mm -hmm. Almost every single day you have cancer in your body of some kind. And every day your body fights and gets rid of it. Mm -hmm. Your body's capable of that. Right. The thing is, is that it, there comes a point where the toxic overload is too much for your body to continue to fight it. And that's mm -hmm. why we ultimately end up with disease. We end up with cancer, heart disease, obesity, um, diabetes, mm -hmm. Alzheimer's. All of these things are huge contributors because of the fact that we end up with this toxic overload from the foods that we eat. So right. that's why I take that further and say it's, it's removing all toxins because all the load ends up ultimately causing a problem. To keep up with our YouTube content, make sure that you've subscribed and clicked that notification bell. If you want to hear the full version of this podcast, along with new episodes every Tuesday and Thursday, you can find the Wellness Plus podcast on your favorite podcast apps, including Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and more. To see the full video version of this episode and to help keep this information free, you can sign up for wellnessplus.tv or become a Patreon supporter at patreon.com slash psyche truth. We've included all the links you need down in the video description.